foul for uh, bumping a Hinebra offensive player going through the lane. Looks like Artadi. Second personal against Tenorio. His bank. He started this game for Hinebra. They'll give that shot to Artadi all year long. You know, his shot is not that bad. It doesn't look bad, but uh, I think he just has a little problem. He struggles a little bit with confidence. But uh, I think if practiced enough, he should be able to shoot a much better percentage. Here's a Nathan. Blocked by Rivas. And Inebra is on the run. Here's Kid Lightning on the move. And Artani goes all the way for two. And Artani saying, if I can't hit that jumper, I'll just use my speed and go all the way to the basket. That's exactly <laughs> what he did. And he got his ninth point of the ball game. And uh, Hanebra is on top. On top by two as we enter this uh, timeout. Now check that, it's a 30 second timeout, so we'll get a chance to relive uh, this coast to coast move by uh, Paul Artadi. To the delight of the uh, PBA fans here inside the uh, Xavier University gym, also the home of the Xavier University. Crusaders. As you look at Governor Oscar Moreno, the rest of the local officials here in Misamis Oriental, Nico Halili alongside Vince the Prince, he's on. I also saw Congressman Dato Arroyo, also a big, big basketball fan. He loves playing basketball and he loves watching basketball. And a uh, little known secret about him, he actually tried out for the Antonio team back uh, a few years ago when he was still going to college there. That's how much he likes basketball. Absolutely. In the meantime, here's Miller. Sidestep. Nice pass Ooh. from Papa. Willie Miller just cleared out the whole right side there. Everybody in the whole gym, including me, thought he was going to go up for the shot. But at the last second, he just dropped it off for a nice, easy layup onto the basket. It was Raynell who got it. Eric Bank tagged with his first personal foul. And Joe Devance is back in to replace John Ferriols. John Ferriols, uh, he's been shooting very well from the field. Right now he's number one in the entire PBA in field goal percentage. So five points uh, today for uh, Reina Rugnatan. Alaska up by one, 29-28, two bit. Threw it to the wrong team on that one. So well, he, he thought Rivas was still there. And meantime, here's Terorio. Carriasso from the corner. The Jet getting off to a nice little start there. Nice little jumper from the baseline. But time out here for Ginebra. Alaska on top 31 28. Under the team leader, L.A. Tenorio. Still over five minutes remaining in the second period. Here's Miller. Hounded by Ronald Tubit. Uh, Miller on Corks. Mank clears the rebound for Hinebra. They're down by three. Tubit on the move. He lost the ball. It was slapped away by L.A. Tenorio. L.A. Tenorio showing some quick hands there and uh, gets it away from the taller Ronald Tubid. Here's Rivas. Beck scores on the tip in. Eric Beck now with six points tonight. Eric Mank up there to uh, clean up the garbage and uh, he's uh, coming close to his game average. He's only 7.4. We all know he's a potent scorer once he gets going. Here's Carriasso getting away from uh, Elterbrand. And he makes them pay. Carriasso now with four points. You know, they're just like a well-oiled machine right now. Alaska just firing on all cylinders in this whole conference. A lot of confidence in with the Aces. Aces on top by three. It's too big. The outside. Arpadi. You know, he hit two outside jumpers uh, back in the opening quarter. And he gets held down by Carriasso. Tenori actually tagged with the 
with the foul. That was just speed for speed. You have Tenorio and Artadi going at it. And uh, I don't know about you, but I think these are two of the quicker guards we're going to find in the entire PBA. You know, what, what we've noticed is, you know, when these speedsters go up against each other, you, you talk about Tenorio, Marvin Cruz, and Paul Artadi, they do not like each other. <laughs> Things can actually get very physical. Well, they're trying to see who's the quickest and who's the fastest. Sometimes they punt heads. <laughs> <laughs> they, they bump bodies a lot. Uh, at full speed at that. Uh, here's the bats for three. It's only last touch on Artadi. 3 and 37 remaining in the first half. Alaska is holding on to a three-point lead here in Cagayan de Oro. And Devance is mad at himself for missing that last shot. He knew he should have made it. It was wide open. And with the percentage he's been shooting lately, he should have made it. Tony De La Cruz to Carriasso. Miller cross-court. Tony De La Cruz. There's Artadi handoff. Helter Brad inside. Mink. That play was broken up by De La Cruz. Ball stays with Hinebra. Good pass by uh, JJ Helterbrand to uh, see the cutting uh, Eric Mink though. Well, you can see Rafa Rivas is all business. <laughs> all show business. He's <laughs> enjoying the game. Urbit. Mink. Turn on. Oh, blocked by the boss. Sunny Toss telling Eric Mink, you're fired. You are denied. No shot for you tonight. Uh, turnover here, however, against uh, Alaska. As we approach the three-minute mark of the second quarter. Here's Elter Brand. Elter Brand has been quiet here in this game. He loses that ball. Miller trying to get rid of Tubit. Tubit a very pesky customer here in the first half for uh, Willie Miller. Alaska holding on to that three-point lead. Here's Devance against Wilson. Over to Sunny Toss. Toss, one more try here. He loses the ball. Here comes in Ebra. Arpadi on the ball. Kid lightning over to Helter Brand. Blocked by De La Cruz. He just gave up too many inches right there. The uh, five foot 11, six foot uh, Arpadi uh, for Helter Brand against a much taller Tony De La Cruz. And De La Cruz misses the easy layup. Here comes Arpadi. And he is hammered once again by Carriasso. And uh, I thought he doesn't hit the foul at all. I don't think Jeff had any malicious intent there, but... Uh, but I can see where Artadi is coming from. Dahil ano na yan eh, pangalawang beses na siyang nataga. Jeff. So they will call an intentional foul against the Jet. And uh, because of that, they will separate teams for uh, a moment. So here's Artadi, he'll be running down court and Carriasso says, uh, where are you going? But you're right, huh? actually, parang hinawakan lang naman ni Jeff ng konti. He just grabbed them. But, uh, well, he never knows how important this game is. And uh, with uh, their depleted lineup, you know, they're going to fight tooth and nail for everything they can get. I think they're still reviewing the, the call on the teams. And now Eric Meng getting in the action here. Exchanging words with uh, the Coach ref. Tim Cohn. And uh, <laughs> Coach Tim is not one to back down either. So it uh, looks like the referees are going to earn their paychecks tonight. And... Uh, and there's Boy Cruz and Joel Ngo, uh, both uh, talking with uh, Alaska head coach Tim Cohen. Not sure exactly what transpired between uh, Eric Mick and coach uh, Tim Cohen, but uh, it was something. And I guarantee you, it was in English. I do not doubt that. Bisayan. <laughs> 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 
And it all started with the with the foul committed by uh, Jeffy Carriasso on Paul Artadi. There's our Supreme Court. So penalty one against Jeff Carriasso. So that's the scientific term. Verbal altercation between Eric Meng and Alaska head coach Tim Cohen. And that's why like both of them were slapped with technical fouls. Artadi was given a warning for second motion. You know, it's never a good thing when a, when a player and a coach of the opposite team go at it. 